Hi everybody, Professor Cynical back again with another glitch video. Now in today's video guys, we are joined by the non and only Anwan, who is the new moderator over on the Professor Cynical Discord. Now he's got a tasty glitch to show me here today. Essentially guys, what's happened is we are now able to max out a living ship with full 4848 slots, which is absolutely incredible. And that then transfers over if you want then a god tier ship. And there's also another glitch combined within this one, which essentially means we can now install alien components in a god tier ship. So we have a lot to talk about today, guys. So let's get into today's video. All right, guys. So very, very quickly, you need to have a living ship for this to work, obviously. Now, when you land your living ship, the person that you're going to be doing this glitch with, they go ahead and they buy a random normal ship. Any ship that you want, it doesn't matter. Once they buy that ship, they need to then fly out into space, call in the freighter and land. Once they land and they jump out of it on their side, what happens then is you need to go ahead and jump in the ship that they have just bought. So they keep that ship in the space station and then they fly away whatever ship they had before the ship that they bought, if that makes sense, they just fly away in the original ship that they came in and they land on the freighter. So that then leaves that brand new ship. You jump in, you go ahead and claim it as your own. Once you do that, you need to then run up to the top, as you can see now in the video on the loop cycle that we're doing. So we're going ahead, upgrading that ship, and then we jump into our other ship, which is obviously our living ship, and then we go to upgrade slots. So this is where we're now we're in the video. The very, very brief explanation, guys. I probably not explained it as well as I could. But if you watch the video, it will all make sense with what I'm saying. So as I'm while we're saying there in the background, you can upgrade a living ship. But it's still showing that we're able to upgrade it. So essentially, guys, look what we're doing here. I'm jumping in to the normal ship again. Running around. And I'm upgrading the normal ship. And in turn, what's happening is it's actually upgrading the living ship at the same time simultaneously. Even though we can't physically upgrade it by going through this actual menu, if that makes sense. So here we go. We just upgraded that there. So as we can see, going back into it, we can't upgrade it anymore. For example, every run will let you upgrade about four or five times. So you need to do a few runs, if that makes sense. So if we look into the general technology there, as you can see, we have upgraded it so far quite a lot. So we jump into our living ship. So it's backwards and forwards a lot here, guys, but do bear with it. Again, if none of this is making sense, it took me a good 10, 15 minutes of hearing him explain this to me before it clicked and I understood what he was talking about. But essentially, what we do now is obviously apply augmentation and look at that. All of the slots are now unlocking, even though we're not upgrading the living ship, if that makes sense. It's some kind of weird cloning bug, but we're able to do it nonetheless. And it's absolutely incredible. So we're just going to keep on doing this cycle, guys. And I'm not going to edit the video out as such. So then you can physically see on screen that you can see what we're actually doing here. So, again, I'm applying augmentations. That's the next line done. And all I'm doing is then jumping back into my living ship. So, you need to make sure, guys, when you're doing the cycle, that it goes normal ship, upgrade. Then, you jump into living ship. Go back to starship outfitting. Because you need to make sure that you actually get the apply augmentation. And then, you physically see the upgrade flash. So as long as you see that upgrade flash in there that you can still upgrade it, then you go back to the normal ship. Repeat and continue as many times as you want. Now, obviously we're going to go for the full shebang and we're going to upgrade everything. But the next step is once this is upgraded, wait until you have five slots remaining. So like I said, it goes into about five slots. So... I'm going to apply this last upgrade here. Now, I've got one last line going down the side that I can physically do. However, what I'm going to go ahead and do here is Anwan is going to go ahead and give me some living ship upgrades that I can apply into my ship. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to physically put these upgrades in the living ship 
and then I'm going to go back to the to the scrap mechanic place and then finally upgrade it. So once you upgrade your ship fully, unfortunately, then you can't add any more upgrades. So I hope this is going to make sense further down the line. But I'll show you what I'm talking about. It, it is a little it's a little hard to understand, but I'm hoping the video will will justify what I'm saying, if that makes sense. It'll it'll keep things in line. All right, guys. So Anwan, like I said, has gone ahead and given me some of these upgrade modules for the living ship. So all I'm doing now is I'm arranging them in such a way where everything is working, nothing's flashing red, and essentially it's going to give me an amazing god tier ship because this will all transfer over to the mechanical ship as well. I mean, how crazy is that? I'll show you how that works in just a second. Or guys, if you don't want a god tier ship and you just want to basically max out your entire inventory in the story sacks and organ chambers of the living ship, then right now this is exactly how you've done it and going forward it will just be a case of then you're jumping your, in your normal living ship and fly away and you'll have a fully maxed out living ship but if you want to do this extra step guys to get a god tier ship i'm glad to say that this is currently a working method and it's absolutely insane so you can see here right now just the last few items uh, i think i've got one too many of these screaming things down here Oh no, infinite. There we go. There we go. So that's everything now transferred over. So once you've gone ahead and done that, first thing we need to do is make sure that we jump in and out of our living ship in order to save the progress. If you don't and then you restart your game, that won't then carry on going forward. You need to make sure you jump in and out. All right. So we need to now double check that we can still go ahead and upgrade this living ship. Because like I said, I've still got five slots to upgrade it. So you need to do this before your last amount of slots. So you can see that I've got five slots. Fantastic. We now need to complete the loop. So we need to go ahead, jump into our normal ship. So remember, we're using this now as, as a way to piggyback and clone itself in order to upgrade the slots for both ships. Again... It's a very weird mechanic. It's really hard to explain, but I'm hoping that the video is doing justice to what I'm trying to set. <laughs> so here we go, guys. Apply augmentation. Fantastic. So that's then now complete. All right. Now, if we go into, obviously, our normal ship here, there we go. So we're going back into our normal living ship. Jump in and out. That creates that save point. Very important, like I said. Then we need to come over to the Starship Outfitting go through the dialogue and then we need to upgrade starship again and just make sure that everything is taken as you can see there guys apply augmentation i can't apply any more augmentations i can't even purchase the storage for it even though now if i wanted to purchase the storage it would cost me 300 million which i'm not going to do now everything look at that everything is fully upgraded apart from one bottom right slot there but that was just probably a mistake done on my part when a when Anwan was showing me the glitch. But nonetheless, guys, look at that. Now, this is a god tier ship. Now, as you can see, I have a normal ship with living components. <laughs> How crazy is that? And I can also install technology, a normal ship technology, that is, in order then to do something very, very cool. And I'll show you why everybody wants a god tier ship. So I'm going to go ahead, guys, and install... A very very particular normal ship item and i'll show you why a god tier ship is something that is very attractive to a lot of people all right guys so the item that we're going to install is a fort on cannon now watch what happens look at that it's absolutely insane and the best thing is the dps the damage per second i think is 172 thousand dps you can literally one shot any ship any freighter any sentinel it doesn't matter it will just erase them from existence it is stupidly powerful and that is why you want a god tier ship i mean this thing in pvp for example would totally change the game let's just put it that way if we was able to fight each other in a pvp section you can bet your last pound your bottom dollar that I would bring a god tier ship to the party because this is exactly what you are going to want in order to win just about anything, anywhere, anytime. Literally, the god tier ship is one of those where 
you can use it for collecting purposes so fly down to a planet aim it to the ground and you can start collecting carbon and ferrite dust super quickly if you want to take on sentinels because the garden of place one shot kills even the big walk guys honestly it's absolutely incredible and that is why guys that is why the god tier ship i am happy to say is still working in norman sky origins absolutely incredible guys it really really is and again i want to thank amwan for showing me this awesome 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 method absolutely amazing and guys like i said going forward this glitch is currently working so jump on it now before hello games will inevitably patch this because it is really overpowered as you can imagine all right guys so as always i want to thank my wonderful patrons for today's video i would like to thank Richard Borjeff, The Dread Sky, Jelly Dad, Wesley, Don Megan1976, Alan, Rene, and guys, I want to thank my wonderful superfans as always. I would like to thank superfan Steve, superfan Jerry, and I would like to thank superfan Brian. Also, guys, don't forget, if you, the viewer watching this here at home, you like what I do, why not do me a favor, guys, hit that like button in the face, and don't forget to like the video. It really helps me out a lot, and I appreciate it so much so thank you all again for watching today's video my name is professor cynical and i'll catch you all again in the next one bye for now oh yeah that's what i use my god tier for you know when you're on a planet you need ferrite dust or carbon just get in your god tier and just fire at the floor and just keep flying around and you collect carbon and ferrite dust so quick it is unreal after about 30 40 seconds you've got about twenty thousand ferrite dust and <laughs>